Mm, I can you. only see competition hotting up. Sejo, thank you very much for that. Sejo Patel. Well, for a closer look at India, we're joined now by Darius Kawajik, Chief Investment Strategist, CFC Seymour Limited, Hong Kong. Darius, good to have you with us. You heard what Sejo was talking Hi. about, Nissan and Renault going after the budget car segment in India. What's driving uh, demand for these low-cost cars in India? Uh, well, uh, the growth of uh, GDP and incomes in India has been uh, very strong recently. So far this year, GDP expanded by 10% year on year almost, which uh, put a lot of people into the kind of wealth or income bracket that allows them to purchase uh, more types of uh, consumer products and cheap cars are one, of, are one of them. So for the global businesses, India is becoming another China where the huge size and fast growth of the local consumer market uh, makes the country a must on their list of areas where they are present. Mm, a lot of comparison with China there. As an investor, how would you play this growth in the middle income market? Uh, well, definitely you need to be present uh, in uh, those sectors uh, of, uh, of businesses, those sectors which target uh, the uh, kind of uh, products where the growing middle class is becoming increasingly interesting in, interested in as they are climbing up the, uh, the ladder of, uh, of lifestyle, if I may say so. So cars definitely would be a very good example because it's the kind of good that everybody wants to own as long as they are affluent enough to have them. Uh, aside from uh, products such as consumer electronics. So, so being in, in the car business in India, I think is uh, a very attractive proposition for mass producers that are able to provide relatively cheap cars. Darius, it's Michelle here in the United States, but with this ongoing credit crisis here in the U.S., there's more and more talk about whether or not we're going to be in recession. Could the Indian economy and the Indian market handle the fallout from a deep U.S. slowdown? I think they are definitely able to uh, weather slowdown in the U.S. because India, uh, Indian growth depends a lot on internal factors. Exports to the U.S. are uh, to a large degree in the uh, services sector, in the software sector, and so on. Uh, and the recession in the U.S. is coming from the housing market. You know, Indians are not shipping houses to the U.S. So uh, the nature of Indian exports into the U.S. economy uh, makes uh, growth in India less sensitive to what will happen in the U.S. But of course, if there is a recession in the U.S., then, then Indian exports growth will slow. However, we do not forecast a recession. We think that we will have a 2% year-on-year growth this year in the U.S. and a little bit more next year. So, Darius, because of that inflation problem that the central bank may, may have to respond to um, by putting up rates, is, I mean, that is bound to be a short-term dampener, is it, on, on performance there? Um, on performance of, of which banks? The Indian, so, on the Indian market itself. Right. Uh, well, as far as Indian banks are, are concerned, uh, a lot depends here on uh, the uh, policy of the Reserve Bank of India, and uh, I think that the rate tightening cycle there has already passed because we have seen a clear slowdown in inflation over the past several weeks. Um, moreover, the interest rate increases that they have engineered so far already have had a negative impact on growth of industrial production and lending. So I don't think that uh, the central bank there will move rates higher. Uh, the increases so far are uh, weighing on uh, earnings growth of Indian banks, but I think that it will remain uh, strong enough to make the sector uh, still attractive as an investment proposition. All right, Darius, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much for being with us today. As always, good talking to My you. My pleasure. Sarah Skowczyk, Chief Investment Strategist, CFC, Seymour Limited, Hong Kong. And coming up here on Worldwide Exchange, you know there's a big leveraged buyout conference going on in Barcelona.